Hello everyone and welcome, or maybe welcome back, to Outer Wilds. Today we are beginning the new expansion to the game, Echoes of the Eye. Certain parts of Echoes of the Eye can be intense for some players. If they become an obstacle to your enjoyment, a reduced frights option is available. Oh, oh no, <laughs> they're going to be scaring me. Let's load previous save because this just slots into your, uh, your original game, I believe. Okay, wake up. Uh, ah, hello, new exhibit. Here we go. The radio tower here on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite, and to this day still houses the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. Thanks to a recent upgrade, the deep space satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. Alright. Okay. Ah, oh, I remember you. And it's gone, and it's there, and it's gone again, and it's over there now. Oh man. Oh, it's, it's good to be back. It is very good to be back. I guess we go there then? Oh god, I'm gonna have to learn how to fly this thing again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember being shit. Get my suit on. That was important, wasn't it? So, I, was this building here in the original? I don't remember it, but I don't know if it's just, like, added. What have we got? What have we got? We've got a recording. Satellite angle. Okay, so we've got Dark Bramble up there. We've got the water planet. Uh, we've got Brittle Hollow. Ash and Ember Twin. We've got the comet that destroyed the Nomai civilization. And don't remember what these were. Satellite angle 40. Uh, is this a new thing? Is that what they're trying to tell me? There's a new planet? Oh, fuck me. Hello. <laughs> Doesn't Timber Hearth look tiny from... Hold on. What is that? That can't be right. That's... I mean, that's not even possible. Am I interpreting this photo correctly? What's even stranger is it doesn't show up in either of the other photos. Just this one. Well, there must have been an equipment malfunction, I suppose. So is it this? Is this the thing? I think it must be this, right? That doesn't show up. How, how did we do this again? We extended stick, and I learned that I'm supposed to hold it above the flame and not dunk it in the flame. Like that. That is how you ruin your marshmallow. <laughs> Never done uh, marshmallow roasting in real life. Hadn't then, still haven't now. The comments over the years have told me I should use autopilot more, so I'll probably do that. <laughs> but I want to just fuck with it myself a bit first. Because it's like a little challenge, you know? You've got to balance out the arrows. Oh, but I fucked it there. Wait, what? Wait, it's... Wait, I... It's tiny. Gabro here, checking in on the deep space satellite per ground control's request to check out a possible equipment problem. Seahornfells, I do too... I do too work. I've just realised this is the scope. This is the scope that was circling around taking pictures. This is not... The thing it was taking pictures of. Which is very obvious. Now that I've actually seen it. For some reason I thought. Because it was like a little red dot. I thought it was a little red planet. God that doesn't really bode well does it. If it's taking my brain that long to fucking catch on. Oh god. Huh. Everything looks A-OK -okay, ground control. No dust or scratches on the lens. And no evidence of sparking or violent explosions. Okay. Still such a. Beautiful sight. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe they made DLC for this game, man. I never thought I was going to have a reason to come back. Satellite angle 40 degrees. Oh. 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 I get it. I get it. I was able... I could see the satellite angle. What? Error map offline. Wait, did I just knock it off course? No. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> okay, let's restart. Let's restart. I... So we just have to sit here and wait. It's, it's gonna be very hard. Like, is this planet like pitch black? Like, how have I not been able to see it before now? I guess would be my question. 38. There it is. There it is. Oh no. I'm gonna have lost the thing, aren't I? Fuck! No! <laughs> Too fast! It's gone, hasn't it? Okay, okay, okay. Here we are, here we are. There it fucking is. And now we go towards it. Uh, uh, this is like mildly terrifying. Wait, no, that's just the sun. No, 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 no. It was right there. It was right there and it just flew like, I don't understand. We're taking it slow this time. I'm just nudging. It's literally right here. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Oh no. What what is this? What is this? Let's let's go to this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is this is the correct direction. We have found it. Oh my god, that was actually terrifying though. The moment that you the moment you actually like pass through that space. Ever unknown language? Oh no. Oh my f fuck that made me jump. There we go. Trees detected. Whatever this civilization was, it was light based. Rotate. What the fuck? It's it's oh uh, what's this called? Is it is it like is it a Dyson sphere? Is that the word we're looking for? Holy shit, this is amazing. Yes, ship lob updated, that's what we like to see. That is what we love to see. Hello? Is this what the civilization looked like? Pick up lantern? Remove slide reel. Never mind. I didn't need a lantern. I needed a slide reel. Now that makes some sense. Wait. Oh, there is. There is. You put... Oh, oh, you're not supposed to use the torch. You can... The, the slide reel went around the outside. You can still put a lit lantern in. I just don't have a lit... Oh, no. That's the fucking timer in this world. Is it? Wait, no. I'm still... I'm still going. Again, it's all to do with the light. Like, they're completely shrouded in darkness until you point it directly at them. They were fishing. Some kind of ceremonial looking one. Gazing up at the ringed planet, which we haven't... Again, they're looking up at a ringed planet, but th that planet doesn't exist. But they are in this solar system. Also, I'm noticing I can jump behind here. Wait, can I not? Oh yeah, I can. Ah, right, of course. But we're going to be underwater now. What the fuck? <laughs> um, hello, friends. I don't think there's anything we can do with this now, because it's flooded, but... We are absolutely going to be coming back here first thing next time when it's not flooded, but, hmm. Okay, it's the same pictures again here. But without any way of jumping behind them. But lit lanterns! But like, the moment that I dropped in here, and my brain was just like that, that second or two, where I wasn't sure what was going on and my brain was trying to compute what I was seeing here. It was just such a mind-blowing moment. 
Man, I'm really worried about that thing at the start that said about reduced frights. Oh, we can refill our jetpack here. Okay. Like, what the fuck is going to be frightening me here? Ah, oh, there it is. There's the music. There's the music. <laughs> so many. So many questions. Oh, my goodness. The Stranger. River Lowlands. Cinder Isles. Reservoir. Oh, my God. The Stranger. Mark location on HUD. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, oh, we're saved. Oh, we're saved. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Wait. This is different to last time. Does it matter how many spins you do? No. Where's the dam? Oh, this is the dam. Yeah, last time it took me out, like, more over that way? Huh. Wasn't this broken? Huh. What am I- what am I misremembering? I was sure that was it. I'm actually having a midlife crisis right this very second. Because I think I'm going senile. I was so certain. Hup. I like that they've put these rafts around. Oh shit. Oh shit. I had my torch on and I fucked myself. Is that death? Did I just die? Oh, I'm dead. I can't. <laughs> you can't. Okay, you do have to use the rafts. Wait, am I upside down? I totally am upside down, huh? Oh, that's good. Get me out of here. <laughs> and it has opened to the same place as before. Okay. Interesting to know. All right. Wait a minute. Okay, that explains it. That explains... So this place has multiple entrances, but you can't tell which one you're going into? There must be a way to tell. Let's just go right across here and see what this house is. Wait. Uh... Oh yeah. Now what is this? Some kind of lantern thing? Come on, explode. I want to see it. I want to see it properly. I want to see it, like, as it happens, not just as a reaction to it happening. There will be some things that are only possible to do once it's broken, and there will be some things that are only possible to do before it breaks. And we'll have to figure them out and then do them. Ah, she blows! Whoosh! Oh! I didn't realize... I didn't realize I was still, uh... Too low for that. Now, did water rushing through here knock this off? Wait! Yes, it did. It's the one slightly to the right. Okay, okay. I'll remember. So we've got whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> Uh, wait, forward does nothing? Oh, uh. That's creepy as shit. So it's a lantern thing. I need to light a lantern. I need to break open this thing. Hmm. Okay, so this one is the Eye of the Universe symbol. At the top there is that uh, ringed planet that we've seen in the in the uh, picture places. The thing on the left is what we just saw in the other reel. So are they saying they actually saw the Eye of the Universe? They lit the Eye of the Universe. What? The Eye of the Universe destroyed everything? What the fuck? A 
And now this. Which is our current system. Huh. That the eye of the universe, like, destroys everything? Turns it all to dust? Turns the that, that dude to dust? And then they feel, like, shocked by it. They get angry about it. I love that musical cue. That musical cue is fantastic. And they burn down places where they studied the eye. We've been there. We've been to that wreckage. That We've been there. Yeah, 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 yeah. We went there in the first loop. And then this is all destroyed. I wonder if this is water damage. And if I get here early enough. Ship log updated. Cool. I wonder if it's water damage. And if I get here early enough, I can see the full thing. Or if it's just, you know, fucked. Uh, for whatever reason. Is there any reason to be down this right hand side? No. Doesn't appear to be. Wait, no, that way, that way, that way. Shit. I wanted to see where that goes. That seems like a very, a much more different route. The music is too good, man. Actually illegal for music to be this good. Okay, okay. Let's try and explore up here. We, we can't have long left because we did wait a while for the dam to break. So I imagine... Oh, shit. Is that the music, actually? Do do. Okay, so there's, there would have been something here, but it got washed away by the water, I guess. Where's the sun at? Kill me, oh great sun. Okay, what about this? What the fuck is this? I don't know, I don't know. Am I... This is, this is what I do. Uh, sun, uh, oh god, I wish I could zoom in. Ship log updated. What is this thing, and what is this trying to tell me? I do not know. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh god. So this machine, whatever this is, connects to this scanny thing... By means of the broken thing outside, I guess. That broken thing has broken a link of some sort. We got a ship's log update, so that's like the best we can really hope for, I guess. Well, I have more questions. <laughs> that has not solved anything. It has just left me with more questions. Oh, you shine your light there. Wait, is there an actual lantern in here I can use? Yeah, right here. Oh, that's the thing with the three things. And that's the chains outside. Oh, shit. Has the water dropped? Can I see this now? This is the thing. How did I not... Genuinely, how did I not see this massive thing? I feel like I just never noticed it. But it's like huge and chained and awesome. Oh, 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 okay, you wait, it's probably only, you're probably only able to get here now that it's drained, right? Roast marshmallow, yeah, I don't know if now's the time. The two, okay, so it was like one signal, the top one is one signal bouncing out, the second one is two signals overlapping in opposite formation, and the third one is three signals in a tri-formation. But what does it mean? I have no idea. I have no idea what it means. I can't do anything with it. Oh, I wish I knew. I wish I knew how to interact with you. There is something I can do here. There has to be. I just have no idea what. Something... Nothing coming up weird on this either. It looks like a coffin or sarcophagus. Is the vibe I'm getting chained shut. 
Why? And how do I unchain it? That's obviously what I need to do, right? I need to break those chains somehow. Okay, so it's the one slightly to the right. Did I really miss it? No, I did not. You cannot go there. Okay, I wasn't going insane. This is locked off until the flood. Unless it's not. Unless it's not connected. What if it's not connected to the flood? What if it's a timer that... Like... I don't know. Changes somehow? What if? Does it have anything to do with the amount of... Lanterns in the picture? No, because there's so many in that one. Like, there's four candles in that picture, so does having four lanterns there mean anything? What if I put all the lanterns in here? Omega tinfoil hat. I don't even know why I'm bothering trying this, because it is obviously not right. <laughs> but I just... You never know. You never know with this game. Just light... I had the wrong one again. I had the wrong one again. No, no I didn't. Yo, yes I did. Yes I did. I was trying to think why I was putting them all there. I was putting them all there because they're- But you actually just have to take the light away from that one. I'm actually a fucking genius. I'm actually a fucking genius even though I was doing the complete- Like, the reason I was doing it was wrong. But it still got me to the right solution, which is just remove the light from there. Okay, okay, so. I feel like I feel like there's something I can do with this, but I have no idea what. Like light has been the big thing so far in this expansion, is that everything is controlled by light. What if I bring a lantern down here? Doesn't seem to do anything. Nothing I can place. Oh no! Off. Oh, wait, no. Oh, oh! I thought that was just sending me to a new day. It's not. Okay, good. I pressed I pressed Y to equip signal scope, but I was looking at the thing. I just wanted to check. Still nothing. Okay. Even though this feels really dumb doing, <sighs> like I feel obligated to try. Just you, <laughs> who knows? Who knows? I, there is something I can do here, and I just can't figure out what. I have lanterns on most of the weathered patches. It's it's clearly not doing anything, right? <laughs> like it's just it's just not. This is, uh, this is not a not a thing that does anything. Okay, this is the this is that this is that thing. Okay, it immediately goes burned. There's the sarcophagus thing closing. This is similar to what we've already seen. There's this light thing, and then it chains up. Okay, so okay that we uh, we've seen it all. We've seen it all. Okay, that was a short one. Also, that's not the room that it's currently in. They moved it after. Because it is not currently up against a rock wall. This guy comes up to this thing. Lights the top. Light shines through the bottom. And seals it up. It's got that symbol at the top, which is that there. Wait, what? Huh? Pick up a- oh my god, this is the thing that they're holding. Focus. Conceal. What? We gotta go. We gotta go here. We gotta see what we can do with this. Drop that. Uh, focus. Eh? We need to get the flame inside it somehow? If I just like... Can I put it and like roast? No. If I doze off... Wait. Wait! Wait! That actually worked! We've got the flame- wait. They're all gone. We've got the flame in it now, but everyone's gone. Fuck. Where am I? Oh my god, I'm on their planet. <sighs> 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 
Can I like... Oh, shit. Wait, no, do it again. Wait, did I just... I thought I saw someone. <laughs> I'd like to go and explore it, but I can't like jetpack off. If I fall in the water, I die. Oh, maybe right here. It's the fucking thing. It's the fucking thing. There's the planet. Oh shit, this is cool. So this is saying there's nothing in there now, right? Whatever it is, is gone. Where we started? I think it is, right? What the fuck was that? What? Oh, right, because we were still down here. Interesting, very interesting. Okay, we gotta go to the other one. There's some, there's a space missing here. Did they build the stranger modeled on their own home planet? I guess they did. I guess that's what I'm getting from this. Is that the stranger is like very much based on their home planet. I hear footsteps. That's weird. Don't like hearing footsteps. And why is this room glowing so much? I feel like there was supposed to be a point to this. Oh, what if I extinguish everything? What the fuck? Oh god, we're turning! What does that mean? Wait, what? No! Turning... Turning that tower broke this tower in the real world? What? What does that do for us? I have no idea. <laughs> There's a cave to explore now. And I'm gonna fucking blow up before I can explore it. No! <laughs> God damn it. I couldn't get to that before, right? Huh. So this is where I was last time. So it wasn't actually a... a secret that was revealed by knocking that over. It's just another way in? Oh. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, well I can't put these out. Okay, green circle. Right, that's the that's the symbol that they have on their church thingies. Go inside. The planet in the sky. Oh, it's just showing me how to get downstairs. I figured it out already. God damn it, this is just telling me a thing that I already knew. <laughs> that you can remove the lights and open a thing and that they all went in there. So I've been to that one. That's the first one and this is the one we're in now, right? But this one, it's like sunken into a cliff somewhere. Have not been there. That is super disappointing though when you find something that gives you an answer you already have and it's like, no, I just wasted all this time. Okay, let's go to the dream world again. The fact that I can hear the fucking footsteps there every time is so fucking weird. I hate it. I hate hearing those footsteps. Because it's not like there's anything actually there. 
It's just there to freak you out. So, now I go around here. And I go into the second tower door. And I go up this way. Wait, it's not breaking this time? What? What have I done differently? I don't understand. I'm something's something's changed. What the fuck was that noise? Why is this not doing I don't what Oh It's because it's a straight tower. It's a straight tower in the real world until the water comes. And the water's just come. So now it's like leaning over and this somehow gives it the kick it needs to fall over completely. Or not. This is irritating. I am doing something here differently to what I did it last time. But I have no idea what. Well, that's one way of doing that, huh? Wait! Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb! It was pure chance! It was pure chance! No! No! I'm so stupid! At least I know that now. Because if I... Oh, God. It wasn't anything I did. It was just perfect timing where I extinguished all the shit and turned out my light and the tower fell over. And I was, I was like, I've done it myself, but it's just something that happens and I've just never been here as the song starts. Because this is in the final minute. That whole loop. Trying to figure out something that wasn't a thing. <laughs> so what can I find up here? Hello. Ooh. Okay, we have not... What the fuck is that? Red lights flickering. That was weird. We have not been here before. This is brand new. Hello. Place to sit and watch as they travelled. Okay. Another place to sit and watch as they travel. Oh, wait. Hello. What have we got here? What is this thing going this way? This is the- oh, it's a large view. I see. This is this. And it recharges by opening those up to the sun. And then that allows it to spin around like that. I guess that's what that's saying. But that's like pretty obvious. That's not like a reveal. I don't know. It runs off solar power. No way. Really? Could have fooled me. Now this. What do, what do we do with this? Because we saw this. Where does this take us? Oh. Wait, what? What? This existed the whole time and I never realized? This is where we began. That's so sneaky. It's so well hidden, but that's a massive shortcut. So this one, what happens if we doze off here? Okay, so it's gone. And then there's just like nothing we can do, right? Because it's on top of stone here? Wait. Wait, this is different. Oh no. Okay, where's this taking me? What? Oh shit, hello. Oh no. Uh not sure how I feel about this fucking summoning circle thing. Oh, that's the symbol. We need to We need to break the three lock okay, this is if we try and do this, it's gonna fail. Right? Vision. Give me a vision. The tower. 
what are you trying to tell me, man? Oh. What? I have to turn off just the two next to the painting. And I can't turn them off in the real world because they're lights, not things. So I have to go to the tower. I have to go into the dream world. I have to go around. I have to light up that bit. Get down to the other bit of the tower. Turn out just those two next to it. Then go back to the real world version of the tower. And there'll be a... Wait, but how can there be a pathway there? Because it's just a tower. There's nowhere to go. Oh, it's going to give me a code. It's going to give me a code. That's what it's going to do. I'm going to have to write it down. It's going to give me one of these three things and each of the three places. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Each of the three places is going to have its own code. This is awesome. This is actually awesome. What the fuck? And then when we do that, we can come, we can input all three into here and that will presumably break the three locks. And then what? <laughs> Weird. Does not want me doing that, huh? So, here we go. So we extinguish that one, we extinguish that one. Do we have to light all the rest? So, how many are there? Let me just make sure they're all lit. I don't know if it's like a code, or if it's just make sure these two are out. I think that's probably fine, right? Okay. What are we going to find here? Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We have secrets. Oh my god. Okay, this is huge. This is huge. We know this one because we found this one already uh, on the other place. I don't actually know what this thing is and <laughs> what to do with it, but... Oh my god, wait, so is it just going to give me all the codes right now? Oh wait, no it's not because they're fucking burned out, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. They're all burned out. I can't believe they're all burned out. That's so fucking bait. That is such bait that all three of the things we need... We cannot fucking see. How dare you? How dare you, sir? It's not Is there a way to enter this room in the past and see them before they were burned out, I wonder? Or is this uh this thing? Maybe this thing is a way to reverse shit? Maybe I can undo the burning and repair it with this thing? I don't know. What I do know is Crescent planet, crescent star, star for the fire. I, I pretty much never used autopilot in the original in the original Outer Wilds playthrough because I I don't know I just felt like it was cheating for whatever reason that was just how I felt, <laughs> and uh, people were very upset at me for it. And I've changed my mind now. I am a okay. Okay, that was weird. I am now a okay with uh, doing that. Oh, yeah, it's here, it's here. Hard right, hard right, hard right. Hard fucking right. Oh my god, that's actually really hard to get into. Holy shit. Oh fuck, this is like a whole- this is a whole deal. This is a whole deal we've never been to before. Oh no! I didn't realize just how much I was missing down here. That's crazy. This is so cool. Have I mentioned I fucking love this game? <laughs> Okay, there's a way over there. What about this way? Such a good choice they made to have these this race be just like slightly taller. <laughs> just a bit taller than us. And everything feels so like unsettling as a result. Like all their tables coming up to like head height and shit. Like this is just a really good decision to do it like that. Here's the other thing! Oh fuck! Oh no, what to do? What to do? Okay, well, it's this one this time. That's going to be a whole dream thing. Okay, you know what? You know what? We're not doing that right now. That goes down there. Okay. Uh, oh! <laughs> Here it is. Here's the thing. Wait. Shit. Uh. 
Okay, so there's a patch right there. So if we stick here and then move through here, we're fine. And then stay on this side. We good. Ghost matter's gone now, I think. Okay, here we are. Here we are. There's a chain running down behind here. There's a lift behind here. Love the music. <laughs> kind of creepy, kind of reverential. Present planet? Present planet. Okay. 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 Progress. Progress. Also, good to remember that there's a lantern here. Wait, where does this go? Oh, shit! Okay, okay, we can do this now. Oh, fuck, there's so much to do. So, they're all staring at the solar system. This is our solar system. They're watching. They're looking at their own solar system. And they're, they're crying. They're feeling sad about the fact that they've lost it. Then it's burned out. That is a whole lot of burned out. What the shit? And then it takes them to here. They go to sleep. They go into the dream. They're looking at pictures of home, wishing they were there whole load of burned out slides and then it's them dreaming of home they're trying to make themselves feel better okay I mean cool I feel like we learned nothing new there oh boy oh boy what have we got here wait shit there's another slide okay so we have the burning reel okay so there's the the diving bell thing they submerge it That looks creepy as shit. They come in here. They had walls and walls of these slide reels. That was like their own history, kind of. And then they blowtorch some of them out. They destroyed a whole lot. Hmm. It's got those green, like, at the top of this machine. It's got these green, like, sparkly bits that are on the towers and stuff. So he scans it in. And then blowtorches it. But only specific bits. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So. Huh. Where is this then? This is near the start, I believe. This is one of the very first buildings we went into, I think. And it looks like there's nothing there. It's a rock wall. But then you get out the way. And there's actually stuff. There's space underneath it. And a fire symbol there. Okay, where's this? This is the tower. Alright. Wait, there's a little reservoir here? This is like a little enclosed spot. I've never noticed this. How'd you get in here then? Wait, is that on the... Wait, that's on the top. Wait, no, it's not on the top. Oh, that's the point. It looks like it's on the top. It looks like there's nothing there and it's just closed off land. But it's actually a little... Reservoir thing. That's to the right of the tower. Okay, okay, okay. I wonder if these are locations where they've stored the scans. So, like, we just saw them scanning in things before they blowtorch them. I wonder if this is locations where the scanned ones are actually kept? Huh. Well, there goes the dam. Time to find out if we are fucked here. But I think we've actually, I think we've just done everything in time. I think we've done everything in time. So if we do get fucked right now, I think that's okay. Man, I'm no, I think our ship's log has updated more this loop than ever before, right? Like, this is crazy. This is crazy. I wish I could make something in my lifetime as good as this game. <laughs> like, what a fucking achievement. This appears to be a... Purposeless room? Wait, what about... 
Aha, how do we get to that level? Oh, can we can we hit the door from here? Wait, no, we can't. Where is that door in relation to this? Oh! The scout lights it up! Oh, I'm good! I am good! I am very good! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Okay, what have we got here? <gasps> it's another reel. It's another reel. It's real! Boop. Okay, next up on our grand fucking tour of film reels. What have we got? Is this the top of a tower? So at a certain point, these things spin round and cause fire to go through there. Okay, what is this now? What are we looking at here? Kind of looks like the stranger itself. Yeah, this is this is the entry point of the stranger, right? This is the actual bit at the bottom of that picture. That's where we enter every time. Something's gone fucky with that and it's flashing a warning message. Okay, so next time we come into the stranger, we should not go straight in and should instead try and figure out what the fuck's going on on the outside part. Okay, so when that gets to the bottom, it'll be top left, which means it's like down here. It's top left, so it's this thing here went fucky. Unless it is, uh, unless it's the opposite end, of course. I mean, nothing seems wrong with this right now, right? So I'm thinking maybe I do need to come at it from the other side. Is that what you guys are thinking? Next loop, we'll come at it from the other side again. We'll have to, it'll be a bit of a pain because we'll have to go back to the satellite and wait for the 40 degrees and everything. But, uh, it is what it is. Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay. I need to get in that door. How do I get in that door? Now let's have a look. Hello. My precious. Oh shit, it's the motherfucking scanning device. There's so many burned reels here. Hello. Ha <laughs> ha Oh yes, I thought I heard something. I took it away and I was like, hang on, that's a painting. Man, that is a creepy fucking picture, though. Did it look that creepy when the light was in it? Hang on. Wait, lantern does not fit, right, because it changed after. The door shut behind me. Wait, what? So, what new and terrible things will we learn from this one? There's three of the... They're the antler creatures. They're the, they're the race we're, we've been watching. They're... Imparting their essence, their soul, something into the into the two. That's the two one. Okay, so they're looking at the tower. They're looking at the tower from a cliff above. It's like to the left of the door. Is this back on their home planet or is this here? Oh, we're actually watching through someone's perspective. He's holding the thingy in his in his right hand. And he's holding this tablet thing in his left. So he's looking over there. He turns to the right. There's a building. He enters the building. There's a little thing. He there's a oh, oh it's a raft. Oh, okay, okay. This is this is their planet. Got it, got it. Hands over that. Oh, that's the thing that's behind the painting. That's the thing that's behind the painting in the tower. He takes it off behind there. And then this dude travels on. There's a tiny gap in the Oh, oh, okay, okay. I need to I need to learn where these places are. Just to the right. 
as we go past. There is a tiny gap. I'm just not sure how I'd actually get into that though, because you don't have any jetpack or anything in the in the in the dream. So I don't know how I'd get from the raft into that tiny gap. Because you can't jump it. Wait, I remember seeing that. I remember seeing that those stairs down. And I never I never went to explore it. Where the fuck did I see those stairs down? I definitely remember seeing that. Oh, this is this is a huge one. This is this is a lot. Hmm. Okay, so so now where is Ha 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 ha. Oh, I'm good. Oh, I'm good. Discoveries, discoveries. Oh, how I love discoveries. So, there's going to be one in here that we can pick up somewhere. Oh, it's going to be the same deal as last time, right? And then this door will close behind us, probably. And that's how we get out of this one. Let's see how this changes. Let's actually look at it this time. So he looks kind of benevolent here, but there's a bit of a weirdness going on around the outside. Then you take this away. And now it is fucking full on creepy hands up. Ugh. Why do those doors close behind us? That's even... Are they watching us right now? I... Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is the first one, as as I thought. Right. What have we got? So. We are looking. There's like a hand thingy. And a little building there. He hands it over. That guy takes it towards that tree. He gets onto a boat going down the river from there. He arrives... At this little house here. He goes in there. He walks through the fire. I feel like that one was less complicated. Which is good. Love me some less complicated. Okay. So, here we are again. And there it is again. There is the thing we need. How, oh how, to get into it. If we can get up to there somehow, we'd be good to go. What if... Can I stand on top of the lift? Instead of instead of standing in the lift, can I set it to go while standing on top of it and then hop off? So if I set this to go down, can we just drop through the hole here? Wait, but there isn't... Oh, there is! There is! There is! Oh, yes! 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 Oh yes! We fucking did the thing! We fucking did the thing! We fucking did the thing! Oh, give it to me! And that ominously closes. Nailed it! Number three. So, here we are. Someone approaches, but we have no idea of where their surroundings are. He hands it over. It's just pitch fucking black. Okay, there's chairs. They're looking at some kind of stage. I guess this is the Endless Canyon? Wait. What? There's an invisible path. So we need to find this stage. He turns to the left. So the stage is... I mean, it's practically opposite wherever this handoff was happening. And to the left of that tree, he lines himself up. There's two candles on the ground there. And there's two candles on the ground on the opposite side. They're all lit. I wonder if that makes a difference. An invisible path. Turns to his left and darkens that room. When he darkens that room, that painting becomes a door... This guy walks through with the third thing. And the lights come back on and it's still a door. 
so much fucking info. I love it. Let's see. Here comes the water. Let's see how much of this survives. Okay, that gets broken. All of that gets washed away. That gets washed away. That bridge breaks. But largely speaking, a lot of it is all right. My stairs are still here. That's good. Are they are they skeletons now? I guess they are skeletons now, right? I was thinking like, what if this just happened? But no, they're not because they're like owl people and their their faces are rotted away. So, but what if does does their mind die when their body dies? I guess they were just like, fuck this shit. We hate it here. We want to go back home. And whilst we're just visiting temporarily, they visited permanently. That's why they like strap themselves in and shit so that they wouldn't wake up, I guess. Like, nothing will knock them out and make them wake up in the real world, I suppose. I just wonder if they're still there is all. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should be nervous. Because I'm, I'm always thinking back. The thing is, I'm always thinking back to the very first, like, second of this DLC. Where the first thing that comes up when you boot up the game is there is frights or something and there's a reduced frights option. And that's just fucking terrifying to hear. Like, if it didn't tell me there were frights, then I would just happily continue about my life. But because it did tell me, I'm like, I'm on edge <laughs> more, a lot more than I would have been. Oh, hello. Here's the stage. Here's the pathway. The invisible bridge. No, but I hear the music. Our time's about to end. <sighs> what the fuck is that noise? I actually despise the fear. <laughs> oh god. I'm so it's just so fucking dark. Now shouldn't there be a fire somewhere that I can like I don't know if it's actually just tension and there's not actually going to be any reason to be afraid. Or if there is going to be a reason to be afraid. You know? Am I supposed to drop down here? I don't know. Oh, okay, there it is. Wait, wrong button. <laughs> That's the one. And then we wake up. And here we are in the world of spook. Haha! -ha. That's very cool. That's a very nice shortcut that you can do it from that side. Hmm, I can't actually see the candles from here, but I should be able to just walk straight across, right? Where are the candles? Shouldn't there be can- oh, fuck. <gasps> I guess I was not walking in a straight enough line, huh? <laughs> so, now let's try exploring downstairs. Do we reckon there's an invisible floor here? There could be. We can test that out in a minute. Just the fact that that lines up with one of these, which presumably if you get onto the other side and shine a light through it, then it will presumably light up a bridge here, maybe? Dunno. Okay, I'm definitely hearing fucking doors creak and shit. I'm not about that. I am not about that life. Is there any way for me to get, like, there's obviously stuff over here. I don't know how I would get over there. Let's try going downstairs. Looking around. Uh, wait, never mind. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. It, like, teleported me across the gap? That was a really fucky, like, animation. That mind blew me. <laughs> Is that a term? Mind blew me? Sort of. It blew my mind. That's better. Uh, wait, what? Is that a shadow being cast from below where I'm... Like, is there something underneath where I am watching that? Or is that shadow part of the, the thing? Not sure. So that's good. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so that explains that one... Uh, film reel we saw where I was like, how do I make that jump from the moving boat to that gap in the cliffs? And the answer is, there's a teleporty hand there. 
that does it for you. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, see, I'm not about that. If I'm being honest with you, gotta tell it how it is. That, not about it. I'm just actually, I feel like I'm gonna get jump scared, but like, it's not that kind of game, but like, is it? I can't tell if I'm being baited. Wait! That door was not open before. Oh no. No, 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 no. This is not what I'm here to play. I'm actually definitely going to turn on the uh, reduced fright thing. That seems like it was made for me. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Nope! Nope! Hello? What do I do? Friend? It's just staring at me. Is it because I've got this trained on it? Oh, fuck! Okay. Oh. <laughs> nope. The frightening aspects of Echoes of the Eye are part of the intended experience. I, if that's the intended experience, I don't want it. If they become an obstacle to your enjoyment, enabling this option will reduce some of these aspects. Are you sure? Absolutely. I hate that shit. I cannot stand that shit. That was probably very enjoyable to watch, and I'm sure it's somewhat disappointing that I would turn on Reduce Frights, but as the person playing it, that is not at all enjoyable for me. It is not something that I do. This is absolutely terrifying. This is like, this is not out of wild. <laughs> this is not what I signed up for. Oh, fuck. If I wasn't recording for YouTube, it is it is at this point that I would simply stop playing the game. Like, no lie. That is that is the level that I just hate that kind of feeling. I guess that's a blanket statement. I'm pretty sure that in the first bit at least, they're only on the on the teleport side. But then Oh! Jesus fuck, that made me jump. How it's okay. Okay, well what do I do now? How do I deal with you? If I like, okay, this like freezes them. But why did he come up this way? I don't understand, he's never done that before. Fuck you. No, you're supposed to be stunned. You're supposed to be stunned. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. Can I just walk forwards? I can just walk forwards. Okay, 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 we're good. We're good. Oh, that was the worst experience I've had in a long time. Hello. Wait, are there gonna be more in here? Am I, am I safe now or is this still, am I still fucked? I was assuming that I was safe once I reached this bit, but I'm not feeling safe. Insert artifact onto this? Remove. Hello? Are you, what are you doing? Okay. So this is gonna be, this is gonna be the scanned version, right? Without any, without any uh, holes in it. So there's them looking at that. They get all sad. They reminisce. And then it's right after this that stuff gets cut out. Okay, this was not in here. What the fuck is this? They're in a room, they've got a machine on the floor, they've got shit on the walls. They're testing stuff. They're building a virtual world. And then we saw this part. So it's not a dream, it's a virtual world. They just access it via dreaming? 
There wasn't anywhere else I could go up here, was there? Like, obviously you can drop off the edge. I'm so... What the fuck?! What?! Is this intended? Is this a glitch in the matrix? What? Ha! Huh. You can't read that like this. I need to- Oh god, okay. So it's diagonally up to there, then diagonally down to there. Please god, don't let me fall off when I'm trying to do this. Oh, thank god. Wait! No! But it's fucked! You're supposed to be the answer! I, I just don't know how to access this fucking thing. Ah, huh, that's interesting. It's like, right there's the line, and I can see it like that there. Okay, okay. Walking along. He's in a dome. He's in his own... He can only see it just around him. He leaves it. And he walks outside his bubble. Yeah, okay. We found this out, like, by accident. Okay, so that's not actually telling us anything. It just doesn't make sense. It shows this to us, so I figured we could get here. But we can't, like, we get here and there's nothing to see. But if you remember the position of the bridges and come here without using the, without seeing the bridges are there, it's just burned. Like it is in the real world. But I thought the whole point of this was that it wasn't. That is very frustrating because I feel like I didn't learn anything there. I didn't get any ship's log updated, did I? I mean, obviously I learned that thing about the, like, walking away, which is cool, I guess. But, like, I don't, I don't know what the code is. I thought I was supposed to get the code from that. I tell you what though, I am certainly looking forward to watching other people play this and get fucking scared the shit out of them. Like even on even on low fright setting, it's still scaring the shit out of me. I guess they're just easier to get past on low fright setting, but fuck me, it doesn't really feel like it. Why did they have to put horror in this game? Man, <laughs> I love Outer Wilds and everything up to this point in this game so much and they just had to go and mix it with the genre I hate so much I will never touch drop the artifact here oh wait yes I can okay so huh oh hang about what's over here you would literally never find this by accident I need to bring the thing with me to activate the lift. Fuck. I love this. Like, this is a concept. This walking away from your light. And being able to see shit, like, differently. By virtue of doing that. Like, that is such a cool concept. Love that. We haven't turned the lights in the house out. So, there's nothing to be afraid of now. So, what's over here? Oh. So, that's a shortcut. So that is like the path the boat takes. Nothing else to see around here. It's interesting because it's like, it's just digital. Like, it's like it's just a digital world where nothing matters, but one does influence the other. The I guess the digital world doesn't affect the real world at all, but the real world does affect the digital world. So like the tower falls over in the real world because of the dam breaking. That causes the tower to fall over in this world, but it wouldn't happen the other way around. They screamed like I just turned the lights out, but I didn't. They screamed right after the dam broke? That's probably the ones that are in the church, right? And so they screamed in the dream because in the real world... Well, no, because in the real world their bodies... Would have been drowning, yes, but that doesn't actually make sense because their bodies are dead. They're like skeletons. They're not actually, it's not like they've just gone to sleep. We had that theory that it was very recent, but looking at them, it disproves that, right? Like, actually, how does that happen? Because if you die, if you, if I die here, normally you get sent back to the real world. 
So what happens if you die here but your body in the real world is dead? Do you just die for real? Because you've got your consciousness is kicked out the game, but it has nowhere to return to, so that's GG for you. Yeah, I really have no idea the answer to that question. What happens if you die? Why is it that the real world tower falls and that makes the digital tower fall? But when the real world dam breaks, that does not make the real world da the the digital dam break. There is no digital dam. There is no digital dam because the stranger was not a perfect recreation of their home, much though they tried. The stranger is their world is I guess they just sailed down this river around it. And the stranger was inverse, and I guess maybe they were using the dam to produce power, I guess. So they didn't model for it breaking here. But then, yeah, it's not like, it's not like, if I die now, I get sent back to the real world. But their digital bodies aren't dying, because there is nothing to kill them. So, they're screaming because their real world bodies are getting fucked, but their real world bodies are dead, so... I don't know, maybe I'm just way off the mark with that being the reason they're screaming at all, but it is like, one after the other, so... I don't know. Anyway. What is that? It's like a very weird thing. And it's staring across there at the Brit. Did I just see something up there? Oh no. Oh no! They do exist! Oh, right. I mean, I'll obviously die if I do this, but whatever. Let's just... Oh, I didn't die. Huh. This definitely goes under the lake, right? Under the sea. Well, this is death, but... Let's see. That's what it looks like. Interesting. Interesting. Well. The tower doesn't fall. Huh. I was under the impression that the tower that I was in fell over when the real world tower fell over. But it doesn't. My world just falls over because I am... I, I, myself, I'm falling over. And I just... It, because I was inside the tower when it happened the first time, it felt as though the entire tower was moving and I was staying on the same plane. But it... I, I was getting duped by my thought process. The the digital tower stays upright. So nothing does affect the digital world then? Huh, there's a teleport point over there. Here's that chair. But right there is a spot to teleport to. Interesting. Did not notice that. Okay, there's dudes in that house. Ha! Huh, I just realized I can't see my feet in this world, and over there you can see they don't have feet either. He was just like floating along. Okay, there's du okay, there are two dudes. There's a dude on my right and a dude on my left. Well Don't like that. Wasn't there another guy around here? They're very good at suddenly fucking disappearing, huh? Where did that guy go? Oh! Uh-oh. Okay, so this is how you get into this house. It did die! It actually did die! Interesting. Oh, because it put their lights out. 
That's why they died. It's not because they it's not because their bodies drowned. It's because the fire went out. Okay, so here we go. Huge brain at work. We go to the other tower now. Two will do. What the fuck just happened there? That was a weird gravity bug. I just got thrown up massively without boosting. That was strange. So then I doze off here. And that gateway is open. My biggest question right now is where the fuck is that hand in the wall? He handed a thing off to someone and then he went to that hand in the wall and teleported into it. But I couldn't for the life of me tell you where that hand in the wall is because I thought I've looked at everything and we haven't seen it. Now has the dam broken yet? Is the question. Okay, so now we just wait for them to die. Which is right now. That wave will hit them any second. This motherfucker's about to... Yup. Okay. So, this is this room. But we know we can walk straight through here. Haha. <laughs> Okay, there's multiple reels we can grab here. Let's go. Fast as we can. Okay, so this is the planet one. Okay, so the eye sent out signals to their universe. They received the signals. They were scared and horrified by what they saw. Oh, we saw them. We, it was the bottom half of this that was cut off before. They, they destroyed their home. They chopped down everything to build the stranger, I guess. Interesting. It was just the bottom bit of these slides that was cut off before. They gave up all they had to create the stranger. That was how strong their conviction that something terrible was going to happen was. They were like, yeah, no. Gotta fix this shit. Uh, right, so. What is this now? This is, this is like a glitch thing, like the other one. So he's traveling down the river. Oh, this is this is like a connection point. So the area is being tied together by these like rock cliff things you go through. And he's like being unloaded and then loaded into a new area. Unloaded. Oh, he jumped off. He jumped off whilst he was unloaded. I wonder what that'll do for me. Okay, let me guess. This is still burnt to fuck. What a su what a surprise. What a what a true shocker that is. Here we go. Jump. What the fuck? Huh. Okay. Where's this then? Can I jump off here? Oh. I can, but it's death. Okay, so it's these little dips. I can't go in the dips. I can walk on anything above the dip. Oh, I know where this is. That's the coffin over there. Oh, well, that was one way. Whatever. <sighs> what? I just blew it out. What? It was nothing to do with codes? I just blew out the lock? Is that what is that what I'm getting from that? You don't need codes. There are no codes. Wait, I mean I never tried this. What if there is an invisible bridge? Oh. I see. However, that doesn't really help me. Because it's not like I can get up there and parkour my way across, is it? That that's that's helpful somehow. Oh! 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 I get it! 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 The lock isn't to unlock it. The lock is to move these. Can I interact with this? Yes! Oh! 
That's genius! Oh my god, that's so smart! The locks are not locks for the fucking... Ah! Ah, I can't believe it! No! No! The dam just broke! No! No! And I need the... Oh, I'm dead. It's over. I have to bring this to actually do the thing. And I'm being kicked out. Well. Well. We are on the path. We are on the path to success. That's huge. So all this time I've been looking for the codes that are supposedly in these tablets. But there are no codes. They don't exist. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Oh my god. We only have one thing left to find then. Presuming, I mean, obviously I didn't test it, but I presume that that's going to uh, blow out the top one. So then the only thing left is how to get past the bridge uh, without being woken up. But the thing is, like, that's the same problem. Like, the bridge there that I need to get past to blow out the final lock, it rings bells and wakes me up. Which is the exact same problem I have in the village that I need to get down the, the staircase... But it rings bells and wakes me up. So that's the thing I, I'm not sure about. Oh, hello. Huh. It's dark enough that it just can't see me? But that's only because there is no light here, right? That wouldn't work in the other bit, right? Because it is all lit up. So even if I did this, it would still see me. Oh, I... Is this where we're gonna see? Yeah, he totally handed off the thing here. Oh, shit. Oh! So if I extinguish this, then I can do the same thing walking down there. Right. But also... Turning out the lights is what makes everyone mad, isn't it? Ah, <sighs> oh, fuck. Oh no. Oh, that is the creepiest shit ever. They're all just taking their fucking... Oh, I hate that. <laughs> so I don't actually know what's waiting for me down here. Because the... The other two showed exactly where to go, like, the other two showed walk into the fire and walk through the painting. But this just showed the hand. So like, I've got the hand bit, I understand the hand bit, but then when I go down here, I have no idea where to go from that point, you know? Okay, where's boss man? There's boss man. Sup, bitch. Here we go. No one's following me. This is good. This is progress. However, we know that people took lifts down into here, right? The guy at the top took a lift down into here. Have they all left, maybe? Oh, God. Oh! Where's this? What am I doing? This is terrifying. Ah, oh, fuck. Hello. Have I lost them? What's this? Can I do anything with this? Is this the way to go? Oh, shit! Oh! No, 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 you don't! No, 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 you don't! I've done it! I've actually fucking done it! Ladies and gentlemen, he's done it! They see the eye. They scan the eye. The eye turns red, explodes, destroys everything. Destroys him. We saw all this. I don't remember what bit was cut out here. We saw that. Then they burned down their church worshipping the eye. Okay, this is new. Oh, this is the thing we saw. This is the thing we saw. Okay, so they, they, they built this. They built this device. 
and they sent it out from the stranger to scan the eye. It thoroughly scanned the eye. Oh, it didn't just scan the eye. It put a seal around the eye? It stopped the eye transmitting? It stopped the eye transmitting. In the base game, did the eye stop transmitting? For, I, I think it did, right? There was something where the eye stopped transmitting. But this is why it stopped transmitting? Because these guys put a fucking seal around it to stop it from, like, doing whatever it was showing that it was going to do. We've got the dudes. we got them in the dreams. Okay, yep. Yeah, it transmits them out. Oh, but that, that guy on the left is dead. And so the transmission is not waking him up. So if we go back here... Yeah, like on the left-hand side, you've got a wavy line there. Because the dude on the right is alive and being woken up. The dude on the left is dead, however. He's got a flat line on the left there. The transmission does not hit his brain. And so he merrily carries on. So what's that implying? Do, do I have to die somehow? But how would I die in the real world? I'd have to strap myself into a chair. But no, that wouldn't work, because that the reason they've died is just because their bodies have been st strapped in for who knows how many years. Okay, what is this? Okay, they were doing experiments. They're sending everyone in one by one. This person couldn't make it. This person died right as they were about to go in. But they made it in anyway. Huh. If you die in front of the fire, you make it in? So I have to die in front of the fire, is what I'm getting from that. So I, get, I wonder what they saw. I wonder what they saw that made them want to, like, contain the eye, if I'm reading that correctly. They saw, they got some kind of vision from the eye that made them scared, that made them build the stranger to... Actually, maybe they didn't build this, maybe they built the stranger specifically to fly close enough to it to wrap it up in that bubble shit. I wonder. My my previous theory was that they saw something that made them scared of their own home and so they left it on the stranger because they saw their home getting destroyed and they didn't they wanted to avoid that, but what if it's that they saw shit getting destroyed and so they took a proactive approach and the very reason for building the stranger was so that they could fly towards it. And as we know, it's sort of near our galaxy, sort of. Not really, but kind of. So that they could bubble it up. This is quite possibly the loop. This is quite possibly the end of the game. Let's do it. Okay, so... We kill ourselves? Amazing. Amazing. They're so good. Like, there aren't many mechanics in the game. Like, they're so good at using the very minimal mechanics that they put in the game. And having them do so many things. Like, with this, with this light, you've got it to light faraway places. You've got it to activate teleporters. Uh, you've got it to conceal yourself, to hide from the, the ringing bell things. If you put it down somewhere and walk away from it, which is very unintuitive, you're probably not going to do that until you find the thing that tells you to. But then that makes it work a whole new way and gives you a whole new suite of options. And then now we're learning that you, it still works even if you die. And like that is again, it's something very unintuitive. You'd never just try it. You'd never just try, what if I kill myself on this fire? But it's all there and it could all be done the first time around is the key thing. Right? Like, any of this, you could do it on your very first loop of the game. You won't, because you don't have the information. But it's the fact that everything is possible from from the very first go that makes it so amazing. It's not a linear experience. You can do anything in any order you want. It's absolute genius. It's absolute genius how they do so much with so few mechanics. As the first... That just leaves the last one. Theoretically, I can walk straight down here and not get fucked. 
Yeah, I can't even hear it because I'm dead. That's crazy. That is actually crazy. This is it, guys. This is it. Extinguish. And now. Our time has come. Well, that's mildly terrifying in its own right, hey? Do I just... <laughs> okay, what's down here? I, I, it's too, it's pitch black. I ain't risking the jump scare. I mean, I could still easily get jump scared if something rushes me or something. But oh, okay, okay. Let's light this bad boy up. Light it up, 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 light. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. There's a lit one here? It's lit! Are there any candles I can light up? Oh! Fuck me! What do I do? Is this... Are we, are we, are we okay? Are we... Holy shit. Talk to the prisoner. He's missing an antler. Why are you missing an antler, friend? Who are you? No response. Oh, wait, no. He's responding. He lights that. Oh fuck, we're gonna get his memories. Okay. He woke up. He turned off the thing blocking the signal. They were not best pleased about that. But why? What did they see that was so bad? And then they re-wrapped it up again. But what was so bad about it being off for, like, however long? That they had to... Lock him away for it. Like, it was such a terrible crime. Take the vision torch. Oh, fuck. No my. Holy shit. The fact that this is integrated into the base game means that anyone could do this like early on in their playthrough and learn all this stuff that you're supposed to get drip fed throughout the game. Like this is us learning, this is us seeing what we already knew but a new player playing this for the first time with the DLC installed could theoretically 
like, have their experience totally changed by learning this stuff now. And then still having the rest of the game to go, but having already seen stuff like the comet wiping everyone out and shit. There you go, dude. We have just communicated with the alien. We have shared our own memories. But I still don't understand why he was locked up for blocking the signal. Like, what was so terrible about the signal? Man, he was just sat here, huh? What was so terrible about the signal? Wait, where did he go? Wait, this wasn't here before. He's offering us to go with him? Where is he? I don't know where he's gone, is the thing. Is he up here? Am I supposed to die in here? Fuck, was I not supposed to do that? It doesn't say there's more to find with the vault. <sighs> I'm not sure if I'm... If there's more, like, main stuff to find. Like, that seemed pretty ending-y, but it still left me with tons of questions. Like, what the fuck did they see in the signal that was so bad that him unblocking it for a very brief period of time was, like, you know, worthy of locking him up for his entire life? Like, fuck knows how long he's been there. Uh, and so as I said at the end of last part, I took to the internet to see if I could find if there was more to do or uh, if, if there were any if there were any answers that I was missing. And uh, I did find out some interesting stuff and uh, I think I have a better better grasp on uh, on the story of the DLC in general. I think there was a couple of, a couple of things I just kind of didn't didn't get on uh... and the other important thing, is that apparently, having completed the expansion, that will uh, put new content, a little bit of new content, into the the main ending of the main game. So, today, we are going to go and do the main ending again, hopefully, so long as I can remember what to do. It has been a couple of years, but I think I, think I remember pretty much. Um, so, one of the main things that I was confused about was simply, like, what made them, what was so bad that they that they saw in the signal that they got from the eye, that it made them want to cover it up completely. And from what people seem to be thinking online, we're pretty sure that it's just uh, like they saw the end of the universe coming. Obviously, that's what's uh, happening. It's not just a star that's going supernova, it's every star. The universe is ending for all intents and purposes. And so they, as we as we saw in some of the slides, they destroyed their home because they got this signal. They thought the eye was some crazy powerful thing, I guess. Maybe a godlike being or just some incredible tech or whatever. And they had to go after it and they were incredibly excited for what they were going to find. And so they destroyed their home to build the, uh, the stranger and went after it and they got there. And what they found when they got to it was that... It was showing them the end of the universe, and that was terrible, and they deeply regretted their choices. They'd have rather just continued living in happiness back home uh, and not been burdened with the knowledge that everything was going to end. Um, and so, because of that, they decided to cover it up so that no other species would do the same thing they did. That seemed to be the uh, general consensus, was that they covered it up so just so that no other species would make the same choices they did and go to go on a massive journey to find this and see what it is and uh, yeah find out that oh not good we we've destroyed our home for no good reason etc so then of course our dude decided uh, hmm 
What? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna turn it this way. Doesn't seem to be uh, doesn't seem to be any reasons we know of why he did that. Maybe he just disagreed with covering it up. Maybe he just didn't realize what he was doing. Uh, but the prisoner that we that we conversed with or exchanged memories with, I guess, would be the better description. He um he turned it uh, and let that signal out very briefly, very briefly, and that is key because. Uh, as we know from the Nomai, and I did, I think I did mention this last part, that I, that I was pretty sure that, uh, the Nomai, like, heard the signal once and then couldn't find it again, and, uh, that, that was correct. So, obviously, I'm trying to remember the, I'm trying to remember general plot points from, like, two years ago, so I was, I was having a little bit of trouble there, but, uh, yeah, so the Nomai heard it once, and they went and zoomed towards it, which, uh, we saw again in our exchange of memories, and, uh, then spent the rest of their lives trying to trying to search for it, uh, trying to find it again because they heard it that one time and then the blocker got re-established. Yeah, that that was what caused that to happen. And then our prisoner got locked away. That's that's pretty much the thrust of it. So basically, if the prisoner had not decided to turn that dial to the left or to the right, whichever way undid it briefly, if he hadn't decided to do that, then the Namai would have never come here then we would have never found the Namai ruins. And the u ultimate upshot is none of the events of the original game would have happened for us. And therefore, the universe would have just ended without any kind of rebirth. Because what we do, obviously, in this ending that we're about to see again, uh, as long as I can get there, what we do is we reboot the universe at the end of the game. Uh, and yeah, if it wasn't for the fact that he turned those that dial then we would have, the Nomai would never have come here, we'd have never found the Nomai ruins and learned from all of their searching, and uh, of course them implementing the time loop of, as well. And so we'd have never been in a position to save the universe and reboot it. So it's kind of like the prisoner is actually, he, he had the most, the single most important action of everyone, and it was just twisting a dial. <laughs> like, it's kind of crazy to think about. But um, yeah, that is the upshot of it. I just felt I felt like I didn't get uh, enough answers, I guess, when I when I finished it myself. But now that I now that I understand where it's coming from, I guess I could have inferred that they saw the end of the universe and stuff. I don't think it was ever like explicitly spelled out, but that does seem to be the the uh, consensus. So yeah, I'm definitely happier about that. I thought I'd failed there for a minute, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was- I, I had a- I had a moment where I was like, shit, is it not teleporting me in? Yeet! Right, have not navigated this place in a long time. This was definitely the- the scariest bit of the original game. Nowhere near as scary as the DLC, but... Oh yeah. Okay, I'm not touching anything, we're just gonna glide straight past. Oh god, there's three. I think we're okay. Lord, do I fucking hate everything about these. Oof, and we got gravity. Let's go say hello to our old friend. Oh, it's still so awesome. So fucking cool, man. <laughs> oh, this is new. This is new. The radio tower on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite and housed some of the last ever photos taken of the entire solar system. One of these photos revealed the existence of an invisible ring world inhabited by species whose presence in our solar system predated even the Nomai. This species travelled from a nearby star system in search of the eye of the universe, but horrified by what they discovered decided to block the eye's signal so that no one else would ever find it. One individual, however, rebelled against the decision, and was able to briefly release the eye's signal back into space, before being caught and imprisoned in solitude for this betrayal. That's pretty much, yeah, what we were just saying as we- okay, so I guess maybe it wasn't as much a theory as I thought, it was more like it does tell you at this point. That's such a cool- I, I love how trippy the end of this game gets, man, it's so well done. Okay, that's the new sound. That one, that one's the prisoner. So let's go get this one first. Let's do the prisoner last. 
Oh, this is the one where you get jump scared by a, an anglerfish, right? Yep, you motherfucker. How dare they? How very dare they? What's it gonna be? Am I gonna be able to understand the puzzle? <laughs> Seeing as this is a <laughs> this is a new one, I haven't done this one before. Because it didn't exist. What is this? Oh, hello. Can I? Okay. Oh, a grave. This is not your grave, but you are welcome in it. Oh, A grave for all three of the cultures. The Namai, the Harthians, and the Owl people? We never got a name for them, did we? Oh god, when we blow the candles out, we extinguish the them as well. Oh, and that opens the door. Oh, mirror. Is this... Don't jump scare me. Okay, hello. Okay. You motherfuckers. So, now we'll get to hear an even fuller version of the final song. With that instrument added. And then we've got our friendly chap, the prisoner. When my kind found the eye and realised what it was capable of, they were terrified. It was too difficult a truth. Right, realised what it was capable of. Okay. Like a light too bright to look upon directly, it burned them. What they could not unlearn was hidden away in darkness, obfuscated, then lost. They did not want to see their story end. My kind weren't always like this. We weren't always so afraid. I did what I could to set things right, yet I am still of my kind, and you now know what they did. I cannot promise our fear won't stain your mind. And so, a choice. Are you certain you want to remember me? Join us. Let's see what happens. I don't want to repeat my kind's mistakes, but if you're willing to take the risk, then so am I. If I look away, will he appear around the campfire now? Yeah, he will. Love that. Love that. I hadn't dared to hope that anyone would hear the signal for how briefly I set it free. Yet, here we are. Are you ready for the final step? Yes. Then it's time. Time to send our spark out into the darkness. Interesting instrument. Alrighty, here we go. Yes, here goes nothing. This should be cool. This song is new to me, but I'm honoured to be a part of it. I can't wait to play with the whole group again. Can I start? Yes, I won't let you down. I believe we've reached the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. What does our new friend have to say? How beautiful. It's different than I'd envisioned. Whatever happens next, I do not think it is to be feared. Alright guys. It's been a pleasure. The new universe begins. Man, I really want them to make more. <laughs> I feel like we've been spoiled by the fact that they made this at all. Like, the the expansion, Echoes of the Eye, because, like, the original game was pretty much perfect. Like, I was not expecting any expansions, and it didn't need any expansions. It stood perfectly well on its own as a just absolute fucking genius bit of work. And yet they did make an expansion, and it was substantial. It wasn't like this was a short, like, one-hour jobby. It was like they made a whole new couple of areas. 
and fully explored like tons of different mechanics in there. Like even just the artifact on its own, they got so many different uses out of that with like traveling between the real and the digital realm and the like getting yourself there permanently by dying with it and leaving it on the ground to see the digital stuff and like the hidden invisible bridges you can find with it and using it to power the projectors and just there's so many different things just with that one little bit of equipment. <laughs> I recommend Outer Wilds to literally like everyone I can. I don't recommend my own playthrough of it necessarily because <laughs> I did. It was just oh the salt when I couldn't figure stuff out. Oh, I, I, I look back on some playthroughs and I'm just like oh for God's sake, why did I why did I feel that way? But in retrospect, <laughs> after the salt had dissipated, I was like holy shit, this is just amazing. And then yeah, I do think my playthrough of uh, Echoes of the Eye has been significantly better than my original playthrough because. I feel like there were the puzzles. I, I figured them out in sort of the perfect amounts of time. Like there was, there was the debating with myself part and the trying to figure it out part, but that never lasted too long. I always was able to either move on to something new and find answers there, or just figure out the puzzle that I was thinking about or whatever. I was always able to figure it out in this expansion, like within a reasonable time frame. Imagine having that few playtesters. That's crazy. The Echoes of the Eye playtesters, oh my god, they were able to scale up for the expansion. Wow, that's uh, that's like triple. <laughs> it's like triple the playtesters for the expansion than they had for the main game. In loving memory of the American Tea Room. What? The homies. Gotta thank the homies. Love that. What a game. What an experience. So, let's have a look at this very last rebirth of the universe thing. Is there going to be any difference? 14.3 billion years later. Beasties! <laughs> oh, that's different, isn't it? Oh, that is different. Awesome. Awesome. Him being there caused a new line of evolution. Him being there at the end of the universe, I guess. Something like that. Fantastic. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Well, there we go. That wraps up Echoes of the Eye.